Hi, I'm Annie Kennelly and um, I mainly paint abstracts, seascapes and landscapes. Um, I probably call my art abstract expressionism, I can't even speak today. Um, I first started out as an artist when I finished work and when I had time to dedicate to it properly. Um, I was a teacher for 33 years before that. Um, and I was fortunate enough to study um, art and design and photography within that course for two years. Um, I paint because I love it. And if it gives other people pleasure and joy um, too, then that's a bonus for me. Um, but it's relaxing and uh, sometimes very frustrating. Uh, but in the end, I love painting um, new work to share with others. Um, I'm often asked what inspires me, and that's a biggie because it's basically literally everything around me. Um, shapes, colours, pattern, the mood and atmosphere. Uh, it's endless and um, always looking through an artist's eye. I probably drive everybody around me quite mad with that. Oh, look at that, look at that. Um, at the moment, it's the colours and shapes reflected underwater that's fascinating me. Um, so I'm busy working on that at the moment. Um, I guess I would describe my work as colourful and often dramatic. Um, I hope to take the viewer on a journey, uh, either into an abstract world or uh, into a seascape or landscape. Um, if I could have one wish, it would be... Um, that it brings as much joy uh, to the people who are viewing my work as it um, does to me when I'm producing it. Um, I work from home in my little studio and I make sketches and notes first. Then I plan a colour palette while it's making little studies. This enables me to see which uh, experiments or which studies would work on a larger scale, in a larger format. I usually work on canvas or board, occasionally on paper, um, often priming them in red first, because that gives a lovely warmth um, to the painting from within. And often you can never see that red, but very occasionally tiny little um, bits of it might peep through on the final work. I usually work on several canvases at a time, sometimes as many as six or eight, because I actually like the flow that that, um, that, that brings. Uh, my work's developed a lot over time, I would say. Um, I like pushing boundaries. I'm not afraid to paint something out either if I don't like it, even if it's taken me a long time to do it in the first place. So I guess I've got much braver about that sort of thing. Um, at one time, I would have been very precious about it. Um, I would say I've become much looser um, and I like to be expressive and contemporary in style. I uh, use a variety of media, whatever really is right for the piece that I'm working on. Uh, my biggest influences, ooh, well, here's the shortened version. It would have to be uh, Wassily Kandinsky, uh, Marc Chagall, Helen Frankenthaler and William de Kooning. Uh, for movement, colour and pattern. I'm also hugely influenced by the wonderful northeast coast. Um, well, the northeast in general, actually. Um, the both natural and the man-made parts. Um, it's an artist's haven up here. Uh, wide open spaces, stunning coastline, castles, moorland, what's not to like, really. Um, it's a special place and I never cease to be inspired by it. Um, I've been asked about the work I'm most proud of, and I guess that would be two huge uh, abstracts of Bamber. They were commissions, um, and although they were the same subject, um, they were entirely different when they were finished, um, even though I worked on them at the same time, because the brief from the two clients was very different. Um, but that was a very exciting project. Uh, my most challenging creation was a big abstract of the Tyne, showing the Tyne Bridge and the Sage um, and part of the quayside. And it was 
that had a much greener world within it, uh, which I think was probably my wishful thinking in amongst all the high rise on the Gateshead side and so on. Um, uh, I thought it would be great to have a greener city, but I think it's a hard thing to expect the viewer to understand um, what I'm trying to get at with that one. So I guess it was challenging for that reason. Uh, my favourite artwork, I'm often asked, which is it? And I, I, it, it's usually the one I've just finished, to be honest. Um, but at the moment, if I had to choose, uh, it would be from the series that I've just, an abstract series that I've just finished for uh, the Northeast Art Collective. And um, it's their undersea paintings with uh, little jewel-like pebbles. Um, and I love doing these because I used inks a lot, which... Uh, give lovely jewel-like colours and lots of texture. Um, my ambition for the future, gosh, big. Um, I would love a solo exhibition. That would be amazing. That's a big dream. Um, but the North East Art Collective set me on this path and they've taught me so much. Um, I'm forever grateful to them for taking me on board. I was inexperienced and really quite naive uh, when I first started and they said they'd like to represent me when they'd seen my um, paintings but I've learned so much with their support um, we never stop learning right um, and they're also um, they've also encouraged me to branch out um, into gifts using images of my um, paintings which I try and keep updated with new abstract designs so thank you Northeast Art Collective and thank you very much for listening.